Happy Democracy Day, my Nigerian people. First of all, the president failed. The special guest of honor and review of sir for today's historic occasion. Ah! Can you imagine? I, I don't understand. Say, effect my Village people have pushed my father. Say, no, Balaji Subu, but God will judge you. The special guest of honor and review of sir for today's historic occasion. Say, Excellency, President Ashwaju Bola, my Tunubu Can you imagine? All the security men went there. First of all, I made a video as soon as this thing happened in the morning. I said, Alaji fellow, for some reason, I was looking at the comment section on my Instagram and so some people were upset. They said I looked excited. They said I was making fun of him. I said, ah, Latibo, did I laugh at any point of talking about the fact that my father fell? Hello, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Did they? The president said, These village people, what a non democratic something to do on democracy day. In that same video, I was saying that the man must fire all his security men. All those security officers, you were there, my father fell. I called Colonel Dewa, I said, Story, wow, we need to talk. Are you expecting me to keep quiet when my father fell? Look away as if I don't care. No, no, no. I care about my father. The story is that the security men, they are not doing their job. Don't they see how the first lady normally holds him when they are walking? Somebody was supposed to have been in that truck to lift up Alaji. Everybody falls. I fall every day, but there's a difference when a 30 something year old falls and when a 70 something year old falls. Falling can cause serious injuries for an elderly person. This is a national treasure. Why were they all standing there watching as my father was going down? Eh? So I was not making fun of him. I don't know why some people said that I was making fun. Please go and watch the video again. I was brushing my teeth. My eyes were wide as soon as I saw what happened. I, like what? What just happened? I did not laugh. Should I not tell you that it happened? Abi, my offense now is telling you that it happened. How would you know to pray for my father if you didn't know what happened? Which brings me to TVC. Why were you guys panning away? Why did you pan the camera away from the man? How are we supposed to know how to pray for him if we don't see a clear situation of what is happening? Eh? Can you say Gonna, why did you move the, the camera? I saw that knew. How about even in America, when the president falls, they don't pan the camera away. Thank you. In fact, sometimes they will even zoom in. So that we know exactly how to pray for the man. And if they are telling us that they will need a billions of naira to, to do something, we cannot see what happened. We'll be like, ah, he just tripped Nico to spending another billions of naira. In fact, they don't need to go to London for checkup about this one. We saw what happened. It wasn't that serious. Anybody can fall. In case you are watching, any subo. Now to the cocoa of the matter, democracy day. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for your speech, Alaji. But are you aware that some Nigerians were protesting in different cities because of the economy? Me, I was thinking you will unveil something that can help our economy on a day like this. I was shocked when I saw the unveiling of the portrait. Let's, in fact, let's take a look. How does that help our... Oh, God, God. Why are we unveiling the picture of Alaji? <laughs> Why are we unveiling the picture of the president on Democracy Day? How does that help our matter? They, they are saying he's the biggest in the world. Shoo. First of all, I don't know how big your biggest is because there was one that sold for 62 million in Dubai. But they said it's the biggest in the world, whatever. But how does that help our matter right now? Central Awakon, is that what we should be doing right now? Who are the people that painted this portrait? The National Council for Art and Culture, Best Theatre, the Artifact Gallery. Can you imagine? Is it that they don't feel what the rest of the country is feeling or what? I don't know. This one passed me. Mr. President, in case you are watching, please. People are hungry. The economy is bad. When would the minimum wage be implemented? How much go are we getting now as minimum wage? Did you not hear some people in that stadium shouting minimum wage? Minimum wage! Minimum wage! Minimum wage! Minimum wage! Minimum wage! Thank you! 
Okay? That is what people are concerned with. I'm going to be calling. I'm going to speed down. Anyway, I'm praying for you. You pray for me. I pray for you. Meanwhile, it has been a very sad week in Malawi as the Vice President Salus Chilima and nine others died in a plane crash due to bad weather. Malawian President Lazarus Chikwera has confirmed that the country's Vice President, Dr. Salus Chilima, has died in a plane crash along with nine others. The military plane left Longwe yesterday morning and due to bad weather, it couldn't land at Mzuzu Airport. It disappeared from the radar shortly afterwards. Wow, this life is nothing. Nobody is guaranteed tomorrow, guys. We have to live each day as a gift. Uh, since our condolences to his wife, their children, and to all the family members of the nine others that were on board. May their souls rest in peace. I really appreciate how their president was the one that announced as soon as the plane was found. He was live on TV updating the nation. May their souls rest in peace. And speaking of peace, the South African election was very interesting. Uh, thank God that there was no riot. It was peaceful. But the biggest party, ANC, has finally lost the majority after 30 years. You know the ANC dominated South African politics since winning in the first post-apartheid election 30 years ago. Now they are negotiating with potential governing partners because they only got 40% instead of the usual 50-something percent that they used to get. And this is because there has been a lot of corruption in the ANC government and so the opposition got stronger. Also, Jacob Zuma left the ANC. I'll talk more about that in a minute. And a lot of the members went with him to his own party. Even though the incumbent, President Cyril Ramaphosa, is still the president, you know, by the slightest margin he won. But his party now has to work together with other parties. They need to make some compromise. Also, I couldn't believe that former President Jacob Zuma decided to run again. I know, the same Jacob Zuma with the six wives. Or is it seven? <laughs> I mean, the man was very entertaining when he was in office, and even with that, he came to You see, a lot of South Africans still want Jacob Zuma to come back. He left ANC to form his own party called Omkonto Wisizi, which means the spear of the nation, abbreviated as MK. South Africans, give me some shout out, you know, I really tried with that pronunciation, I've been practicing, you know. Now, despite coming third, Jacob Zuma's party wants the court to block the sitting of the newly elected parliament this Friday, saying that the election was rigged. What do you guys think? You think Jacob Zuma should have won? The DA party, the Democratic Alliance, was one that came second. Meanwhile, Julius Malema was also on the ballot. He was in the race. I have noticed mixed reactions about Julius Malema from South Africans. Some of them love him, some of them don't. Some of them have issues with the fact that he wants South Africa to be more accepting of African immigrants. In fact, he wants to open up the South African border so that all of Africa can be won. And he was willing to lose votes to unite Africans. Someone said to me, if you want us to vote for you in 2024, you must abandon uh, this thing of uh, foreigners. Uh, now I'm prepared to go home. Now I'm fine. I'm ne I will never take a platform and denounce Africans. Wow. Hazen. When I see a Nigerian or a Zimbabwean or a Congolese or Ghanaian, I see myself. I'm not prepared to take a platform and say foreigners must go home. I would rather not be a president of South Africa. I will be a president of my children at home. We will practice cabinet there. Mm, 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 mm. And he repeated this several times. So. There must be free movement of people. There must be free movement of goods. And Africans must trade amongst themselves. Because only through the unity of Africa will we earn our seat on the international table. Wow, wow. But like I said, some South Africans have a problem with Malema embracing foreigners. In fact, I read so many comments online. Some people, not all South Africans, some people saying that that's why they did not vote for him. But I wasn't too surprised by how much some South Africans, I didn't say, oh, please don't quote me, how much some South Africans hate foreigners after seeing this documentary by BBC. I hate foreigners. And the government is doing nothing. I hate foreigners. How I wish they can just pick and go and leave the work. Wow. You can watch that video on YouTube, Fear and Looting in South Africa. 
BBC Africa High documentary, that's the title. To put it in context, that woman, her son is a drug addict. She said that he smokes all kinds of things, crystals and so on, but she blames it on foreigners because according to her, she believed that they are the ones doing drugs, so they must be the ones selling the drugs to him. And that's why she hates foreigners. So Malema did not win this election, obviously, but he's happy with the outcome. We are happy, we are the happiest because we have achieved our mission in our lifetime. And that mission was to bring the ANC below 50%. We want to humble the ANC. Wow. Meanwhile, did you guys see where they were collating the election results in South Africa? Oh, was I here, father? Of course, they also did counting by hand, and you know, we saw that. But the center where the official election result was announced, I hope you guys paid attention. I'm not comparing with anybody. Put it down, put it down, put it down. I'm not comparing with any country. I'm just saying, <laughs> we can do better. Amen, somebody. The next video will be about my last video on how much Nigerian lawmakers are making because I've gotten all kinds of reactions to that video. Some people telling me that that is not how much they get every single month, that some of the allowances are every year. So I'll be doing another video with corrections, but also expatiating on how much they're actually supposed to be getting paid according to the law compared to what is actually happening. So please stay tuned. Wait, isn't that Minister Wiki? Did he trip or he was making fun of my father? I can't, can you imagine, Minister Wick? I don't know. I don't, I don't know when the man will grow up. Can you imagine? Wait, you're still shooting. Ah, Mokumba. Minister Wick is not how he looks so. Now, for those wondering, yes, we are having our Father's Day sales at Adults this weekend. Hey, oh shit. You know, a lot of men use our hair product. I'm telling you, they use it on their beard, they use it on their head as well. So, yes, you can get Adults hair product for your husband. Though. So many men are using our hair product. Now, if you look at me, you can tell that my edges are full again. Remember that in November of last year, I had no edges because of the postpartum hair loss that I experienced. I have shown you that picture. Now, now see my edges. I also cut my hair that November because the postpartum hair loss was not just affecting the edges. I cut the entire hair, not all the way, but like major trimming. And now see where we are. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, hey. Adults is working. Some of you are still doubting. Okay. Oh. Make sure that you go on our website and place an order. Look below this video as well. You should be able to place an order. All right, y'all. It's Miriam. I'm keeping you adopting here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you yet to subscribe to my channel, I'm watching you on Plasma TV. Press the subscribe button and the bell button. Until next time, I'm with you earlier. Peace out.